Creek pack, and it looks like Solstice is saying good morning. We'll go ahead and join him in a howl here, I think. Uh, these two have been marking territory, and speaking of territory, we should probably see how that is. Uh, he's <laughs> He seems very, very curious in Cricket. Maybe he's wondering how she's doing. Actually, our territory is not bad. I don't think anything's dropped below 50%, so we should maybe take a quick excursion up here to mark some of this, and we can continue reinforcing all these others later. Uh, this is the one that really matters, and these are the ones we really want to claim before Junction Butte takes them back, I think, which fortunately, it seems like Junction Butte isn't paying too much attention to them. So we'll go ahead, we'll probably take this one, or mark these two, and then we'll, we'll loop around here here and claim these before doubling back to claim our den because I think we're pretty close to that but let's go ahead we'll give Solstice a good morning here I think he's uh, probably wondering how, how Cricket is doing because she is carrying their pups of course you can actually see that a little bit I don't always show that but you can't see she's gonna be having babies soon and uh, I think they're they're both pretty excited about that I feel like these two can be pretty different, but I think they make a pretty good match, honestly. I think they uh, they certainly learn to, lurk, to work together over the course of the winter, and uh, I feel like Solstice, I think, strikes me as a little bit more serious, but perhaps a little bit outgoing, and maybe a little more outgoing and less wary. Uh, and Cricket can be a little bit, a little bit, maybe, is flighty the word for it? She got so focused on her quest to, to learn to hunt beavers well that she wasn't, I'm not moving the scent post. <laughs> this is not optimal for where we have our dens. We'll put it back over here. But she was so focused on her, her quest for hunting beavers that she didn't really realize the end of winter was coming. And she didn't know what to do when the beavers stopped showing up. And she didn't really, like, she can plan ahead, but she doesn't always. She's easily distracted, I think. And I feel like Solstice is maybe a little bit better off in that regard. He's good at figuring out the, the strategy and details. Not to say that Cricket doesn't, but she doesn't always realize everything she needs to take into account, I think. And so between the two of them, they, they cover some different bases in that regard. And I feel like they do make a pretty good team. And they definitely are... Um, I think they've grown a lot closer together through the winter uh, from their initial interactions being a little bit um, a little little bit out of uh, out of necessity and desperation to really growing to care about each other quite a lot. I think Solstice was I think he realized pretty quickly that Cricket was having a hard time out on her own for the first time and uh, quickly moved to help. He was still with his pack, of course, and still had their support, and I think he, he saw what a difficult time she was having as a lone wolf and maybe even the difficult time that his pack was giving her and realized she was going to gonna need some help. And he was quick to help her when she needed it, and I think she appreciated that a lot, uh, that he was able to do that and that he was able to figure out they they they, they both they're both it's interesting because they both have a lowered speed stat and that can be difficult to hunt with and maybe that's part of why he was so able to help her he realized she was having a hard time catching up to the prey in the first place because that's probably something he dealt with within his pack Maybe that's how he learned the tactic of, of slowing it down so that she'd be able to land a bite. Because maybe that's what his pack did for him. So, uh, in any case, it seems to have worked out pretty good for him. And they are, they're, they're getting ready to, uh, to start a pack of their own here. Uh, in fact, we'll actually get to name it after this, I think. Oh, I guess there is a scent post right up here somewhere. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll find that. We'll claim some of this territory. And uh, I'll see you guys once we've finished up with that. Oh, there is a den nearby, which I think this one looks like Pyrrha's den. Yeah, I see it right over here. That would be this one. And we're very close to uh, to having finished off marking territory. We just gotta claim one more piece over here, I think. And then we should be good, I'm pretty sure. And we'll be ready to progress to springtime and get to, uh, get to actually choose a den. And these guys, I think, have already chosen. They know which one they want to head to. It's just gonna find the scent post in this one, which it looks like it might be a ways away. Yeah, I see it off in the woods there. We are claiming territory away from Junction Butte, and that is the pack that Solstice here hails from. So, I don't know, y'all. I'm not too sure what, uh, what his pack would think of this. I can't imagine they'd be too happy, though. But uh, we're going about it covertly. We haven't actually had to fight them for it, so maybe, maybe that'll be alright. Maybe they'll be able to just quietly take some of this territory, but I think... We may want to claim these three as well, and I don't think they're going to do that right now, 
but um, I think Cricket would, would like to have that extra buffer. She's definitely leery of Stranger Wolves after what happened to her as a pup and how she was nearly killed in an attack and narrowly managed to escape that. So I think she's going to be extra cautious of Stranger Wolves and, and definitely well attuned in that sense. So I think the problem we're having here, yeah, some of these are starting to, to wane. So we might actually have to buff up our, our borders a little bit. So I guess we'll have them go ahead and do that. I thought we were going to be wrapping up this uh, portion right here, but they, they've got a little bit of claiming left to do. So we'll see them in a little bit. Well, there we go. We've established a good territory and found several potential dens. We are truly a pack now, so now it's time to take on a name. And, of course, if you guys have seen the title of the series and the, um, the title and thumbnail, we're going to be the Beaver Creek Pack. We don't include pack in that, but that's going to be a good name for these guys, I think. And we're going to move on to choose a den. So we've established a territory, but now we have to maintain it. We might want to run up because I was noticing, we'll see after it loads here. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I was noticing. Oh, we do have to find a den and we know how to do that. We've already picked several, but this one up here did drop a little bit. And we do have um, we do have Crevice Lake starting to move in on us here, so I think we might want to swing by and just mark this one, maybe mark this one a little bit on our way back to this den here. So we're gonna really quickly run up and do that, and I'll see you guys in a little bit as we head over there. All right, I think we've got our territory pretty well marked, so we'll probably head back towards our den. But I think we may want to uh, we may want to poke around and look for beavers because it's starting to be late afternoon. I don't know if it'd be quite time for them to be out just yet, but uh, Cricket is a little bit hungry. I am sure that Solstice is as well. Solstice's coat color actually kind of reminds me of this time of day, funnily enough. Uh, oh, here is, yep, the, the pond is unthawed, and there is a beaver in it, I'm pretty sure, actually. Now, I don't know where they like to hang out here. We haven't actually necessarily found their trails too much. Oh yeah, they, they've completely dammed up this pond. Wow. Uh, there's like no water going through at all. And there are some coyotes here. Now, we might want to look for the trails because I don't actually know where those trails might be. All right, we are on the right side of the river for this. The wind is not blowing towards us, but I think I did see a beaver in the water a minute ago. I was pretty sure I did at least. Let's kind of run up the stream area here and see if we can find any. It's, it might be a little bit hard to tell. We might want to have something else to eat and, and wait uh, until um, until it's fully uh, fully springtime. But I think they are I think they are active again at this time of year. So it's definitely something we want to look out for. Let, let's just do a quick sniff around and see if we can find anywhere around here. Um, oh, that was our trail. I was like, what is that scent? Um, but I think this is mostly our trails. Is this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, that, that is us. Oh, this, though. This is a beaver trail. So there are beavers around here. Actually, it might be worth... It might be worth laying in wait for a little bit to see if one of them is going to pop back out. Uh, just to see. The sun is starting to set. So we might want to... We might want to see. When was this beaver here? An hour and 35 minutes ago, although the wind direction is definitely not great, so maybe we'll maybe we will wait, but it's good to know that this is an area where beavers can hang out. So let's see if we can maybe find something else to snack on, or, you know, I think we'll actually just head straight to the den and get something to snack on uh, afterwards, because I know y'all are excited about wanting to, to see what age perks we get and then meet in the pub, so let's just head back to the den and, uh, and go about that. I think it's actually just right up here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, somewhere, oh yeah, it's, oh, it's right here, right here. All right, this is an open den with little or no tree or ground cover. I forget how close this is to the beaver pond. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll choose this. So there's not as many places for cougars, but we do have to be more worried about eagles. And we do have to dig it out as well, which Cricket is gonna set to here. And uh, and keep keep digging here until we can get it big enough for the pumps. There we go. We have our den. So we have to uh, we have to name it. I think we're gonna probably call it Beaverfield. Beaverfield den, I think, because that's what this is. Is the field behind the beaver pond? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, I think first off, though, we're gonna have to choose our age perks, and we'll go ahead and 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 have them do that. 
All right, it's your birthday. You're about to be born any day now, which means it's your birthday too. And if that be and that means you've survived another year as a wild wolf in Yellowstone. Now, if you'd like, you can advance in your age. With age comes changes. Sometimes good, sometimes not. Review your choices and decide if you want to advance. So, with all of our, our series here, we will we will go ahead and choose perks uh, each time, so we can choose up to three. And I'm gonna take a minute to contemplate this and see what uh, what Cricket would pick. I think, and I'll show you guys what we've got. Okay, so I think we're going to have Cricket take these three perks, and the reason being that strength and stamina are both always helpful to have for beaver hunting. Honestly, I don't feel like she would take a speed upgrade. I considered it, but I feel like her having lower speed is kind of, it's something she's used to, it's something she's adapting to, and I don't think, honestly, I don't think she would necessarily choose to change that now that she's figuring out how to work around that with Solstice's help. So I don't think we're going to do that. don't think we're going to take health either because she already has a little higher than average. And of these two, Fun Parent is a nice one, but I think Youthful Press is the one that would appeal to her more. She's not an overly super social wolf. I think I don't think she's going to be like uncaring or anything. I think she definitely will care a lot about her pups and I think she will enjoy spending time with them, but I don't think she'd prioritize this over specifically the sick pups being more likely to recover competitors being more likely to flee and competitors being more frightened those are some really helpful benefits and I think that in particular would appeal to her uh, I don't think she it matters quite as much if more prospective mates are interested or if they're more interested because of course she is solstice she's not really thinking about that and as for larger litter of pups next year that's something we can cross when we get to that but I don't know if we'll see that part of her story so we're gonna take these three perks and advance to age three and continue on and we can't go back that's fine we're gonna go ahead and choose those and now we get to meet our pups there's only three of them oh my goodness that's a smaller litter than I expected these guys are three star diversity and not four so they will tend to have smaller litters in general but I didn't think that that uh, a litter size this small was that uh, was possible with the with three star I didn't know that that was a thing I've seen it with a two star before but that's pretty interesting. So we have 2M, 3M, and 2F. It looks like two males and one female. So you guys will have a little bit of chance to name them. We're not going to be doing that just yet. Again, we'll be leaving them with their Beaver Creek designations for a little while and naming them after we've had the chance to see their looks and personalities a bit more. But speaking of that, let's go ahead and meet them and see what these guys are like when they're a little bit older. So that they'll leave the den. Now four weeks old, your pups are too big for the den. As they spend their days playing outdoors, socialize with them with playful emotes to increase the affinity of your family pack. If they're playful, play with them. If they're hungry, feed them. If they stray far from the den, go find them and carry them back. Pups mostly eat meat regurgitated by you and your mate. Soon they'll be weaned, depending on you to bring them food. You must also protect them from predators who may see a wolf pup as an easy target. Keep feeding your pups until they weigh 15 pounds. Then will be time to journey to the summertime rendezvous site. So here we go. We know how to raise pups and we'll get to meet them for the first time. It looks like 2F is the first out. Oh, and she's got a gray coat. It looks like 3M probably has a black coat. The others, I think, have gray coats. So we have 3F has kind of a steely gray coat. Uh, 2M has more of a warm gray coat. And 3M has a very dark chocolatey kind of reddish coat. So keep that in mind when we're thinking of names for them. We don't necessarily have a theme for the pack, but uh, we will be, I'll be looking at the names you guys have submitted. Oh, look it, look at Solstice rolling around. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, <laughs> and he's rolling over right as I go to get a cute picture, but oh, they are definitely, uh, De definitely a cute, a cute, uh, cute little family here. Look at the babies! Look at the babies! I love them. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! They're just, they're so cute. They're so cute. Pardon me taking pictures because they're adorable. <laughs> uh, and yes, let's see if we can regurgitate a little bit because right now we can't actually bring back carcasses for them. Oh, that's bison rolling around in the distance. Let, let's make sure we all give them some food. We'll give uh, three M some food as well. And everybody should be able to eat, but we will want to get some food for Cricket and Solstice. And we might want to check on their overall food, uh, or, or their overall territory, I mean. Uh, well, it's actually doing pretty good. <laughs> so I don't think we need to worry too much about it. Uh, but let's also make sure we play with these guys, keep the affinity nice and full, and then we'll head right over to our personal beaver pond, which is literally right over there, and, uh, and see, is that, is that a rendezvous site? Uh, is that, I'm not sure if that's a rendezvous site right there, we'll have to go check it out. Uh, but there may be one that's literally right over there, and if so, I think I know which one, uh, Cricket is gonna be taking. 
but let's see how these guys are doing on food. I think they're pretty good. So we'll actually, oh, and it looks like 3M is actually a runt. Uh, that's a pretty significant size difference. So 3M probably is a runt. Oh, 2M was chasing Solstice and just fell. Oh, poor baby. They're still getting a little bit used to their legs, I think. But we'll move them back in the den. And then I think Cricket is going to bring Solstice along and uh, take him on a much awaited beaver hunt. She's been wanting to show him how to do this for a long time. And now that the beavers are active again, and it looks like it is starting to... Is the sun going down or sun going up? I think the sun's going down. No, maybe actually it's coming up. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. I think that's east, so... Yeah, it, it's probably early day then. Oh, maybe it was early afternoon and not late. Maybe we'll... Maybe we should... Uh, maybe we should snooze for a little bit first. We'll call the pups out. We'll lounge them in the open for a little bit. And then after... When the sun starts to set a little bit more, then we'll go ahead and we will... Uh, we'll, we'll go check out the beavers again. There we go. Now it's actually looking a little later in the day. So I think we will uh, hustle the puppies back off to the den here. Cricket's kind of going to probably go back to her old sleep schedule. Oh, there goes two of them. <laughs> uh, she's probably going to go back to her old sleep schedule of sleeping twice a day. But let's head back over here and see. Yeah, this is the creek. And let's, of course, we always want to check the wind direction. Oh, this is perfect. The wind's actually blowing completely away from us. So let's see if we can find any beavers up here. It looks like this is the bushes that they like. So we want to be kind of cautious. I can't tell if there's any just yet. But so we do want to sniff around and see. There's... Did something happen to our territory? Oh, this one's going down a little bit, but I don't know if that's because Crevice Lake is claiming it or just because they're, um, just because, just because it's decaying a little bit. So the beavers were hanging out up here, it seemed like. This could be kind of difficult to see. Oh, Solstice, be careful. Solstice, they might, they might be hanging out around here. They, they were before, they were before, so we want to be careful. This is where she saw them spending time. Are there beavers actually around here right now? I can't tell. I don't think there are right now. Doesn't seem like there's any at this place. And I don't know if this is actually a trail or not. We did see beaver scent, but it seems like it's gone now. Is there any on the other side of the river? Oh, 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 oh. I smell beaver from the lodge, maybe? Yeah, beaver indeed. But I think it's in the lodge, perhaps. Oh no, it's on the other side there. Look, you can see the scent trails. All right, so they do hang out over here by the looks of it. Uh, unfortunately, that might be kind of difficult to ambush them because of the wind direction. Is there actually one out and about right now? There was, oh there was, three hours, 55 minutes ago. Okay, so this is part of the trail by the looks of it. So they hang around here, I think. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll uh, settle down over here and look and see if we can watch one uh, come over this way. I wonder if it has like an actual trail as much as just this area. We're going to settle down for a bit. We'll kind of hang out on this side of it and see because I don't think it'll be as, um, as easy for it to spot us. And we'll, we'll chill out here for a little and see if we can find a beaver. Oh, there's one coming. I see him coming out of the water. He's swimming over. The wind direction is still in our favor, I think. So we just gotta watch and see where he goes. Oh, he's swimming around. He might not come over here. Where's he going? He decided he wanted to come out somewhere else. We might have to uh, sneak a little closer. I think we're gonna creep up a little bit and see if we can get near him. Oh, yep, 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 I see him coming up. Oh, he's going up over there instead. All right, we gotta be careful. He is not going far out of the water. Solstice, now is not quite the right time for play. This might actually be a tough place to catch him. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna try and crouch down. Is he going further this way? I don't know if he is. He looks like he's going in the water on that side, maybe. Oh, I wonder, he might be going somewhere else. Oh no, he's not, oh he's not, he's not, okay. Crouch, 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 crouch. No, 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 you're gonna scare him. Careful, Solstice. Uh, he's, he's getting the hang of this. Oh, he's, he is swimming off. Okay. He's swimming somewhere else. Solstice, Solstice almost went for him, but he's diving under. There must be another, oh, crouch, crouch, crouch. 
Is he is he coming back up on the bank? He might be. He might be. I think he might have gotten spooked. He might be heading back to the lodge, actually. No, nope, he's right here. Oh my goodness. We tried to jump him. Oh, he might he might try to come out. He's gonna try to come out. He's gonna he's gonna potentially try to come out. Alright, if we if we block him here, let's try to crouch down and see. Maybe we can hide in the grass. Oh, there's another one coming out. Oh, I see. This guy might be a lost cause, but the other one might. Solstice, we gotta stay low. I think Solstice may have kept scaring him there. And I don't know if this guy... They may not come very far out of this lodge. This other one... There's not anyone else anywhere else, is there? I don't think so. The other one... If we creep... Solstice is decidedly not creeping. <laughs> I don't know... I just want to see... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we ran. I did not mean to run. I did not mean to run. Okay, well, we go for it. We go for it. We did not get the ambush bonus, but hopefully Solstice will assist us. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's attacking Cricket, but it's gonna try to go back in the water here. She might still be able to push it out of the water, or it, it may actually have to climb back out here. Oh, we got a chance. We got a chance before it goes all the way back in the water. Uh, this is a little bit of, of a chaotic of, of a chaotic moment here. Solstice has absolutely no idea what to do. He was going after the other one as it was running. Oh, it ran further inland though. I don't think the beavers know what's happening either in, in this uh, little pond here. They, they may have not been used to wolves being here. And uh, I don't think Solstice is wholly sure what to do either. But if we can get it when it comes out, we might actually still have a chance. Oh, it turned around again. Turned around. We may still have a chance to bite. We may still have a chance to bite. We just gotta stay kind of ahead of it. Oh, it's trying to trying to dive under. There's not much room to dive in this pond, buddy. Oh, did we get a bite? We did not. Oh, we got. We can get one here, though. We can get one here. We did get enough. Yeah, we managed to confuse the heck out of this beaver, and there it goes. So we did actually catch one. I think I think Cricket feels good about that after so long of not being able to even find them, let alone capture them. Uh, it did take us a while. We do ha definitely have to watch the pack affinity. I probably was not watching that as closely as I should have been. Um, now the question is, are we going to have enough food for Solstice? We should probably leave some for him if he wants it. Yeah, he's going to eat. But that doesn't leave us with much to bring back to the pups. Oh, there is another beaver coming out of the pond, though. We might stand a chance of surprising it if we can sneak up on it. Is the wind still in our favor? It is actually, believe it or not. We might stand a chance of jumping it. Solstice is gonna scare it though. Solstice is gonna scare it. If we can creep closer. He is gonna just scare the life out of this thing. All right, let's try. Oh, I keep hitting run instead of, um... Oh, we, we got it right before it dove in, but I think it's gonna go straight in the deep water. Um, and Solstice is like running all the way across. Uh, we keep not getting the, the damage boost. Uh, unfortunately, open it is raining now too. This one might not want to come out of the water now, especially with Solstice swimming around the way he is. I don't think we're gonna have much luck catching another one today, so maybe we should find something else to snack on, considering that it is getting a little bit dark. Uh, but you know what? We're probably all right. I think we both we both got up to near 100. Oh, he's at 87. So maybe we um maybe we find maybe we find this hair over here and then return to the den to retire for the night. Um, it's definitely gonna be interesting trying to keep up with territory marking, considering uh, Cricket's weird schedule. Ha! There it goes. All right, let's go ahead and grab this as a quick snack for Solstice, if we're able to, that is, and then get back to the pups. Uh, we do probably want to sleep the night because I bet they are getting at pretty, uh, well, they are starting to get antsy and it is getting pretty dark and we probably will actually wrap up soon here because it get, is getting to be about that time again. So let's just get back to it, the den. Oh, we're actually, we were right by the den. Did the pups pop out of it? They did not, fortunately. I was a little worried they were just straight up going to. All right, the den is right over here, it looks like. Um. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, okay, we ran past it a little bit, so let's go ahead. We don't exactly have a lot of food for them. Do they need it? Probably not. So let's feed them a little bit, and then we will spend some time playing with them and sleep through the rest of this rainy night and hope the den doesn't flood. That wouldn't be a great way to start off things for the Beaver Creek Pack. That is for sure. But we will go ahead and end off this episode here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.